guys. Um, I'm out having a little walk, something that's become part of my routine really since being in lockdown. And I wanted to kind of touch base with you today because me and the Learning Ambassadors and all your teachers at HLC, we kind of wanted to share some of our thoughts about how we felt about working from home and homeschooling and home learning. Firstly, we want to say how proud we are of you guys because we've been overwhelmed with, well, how well you've dealt with the situation really and all the different circumstances as well that we're all in. Um, but you've done amazing. So well done and keep up the great work. Home learning is not easy and there are so many distractions. So it's really, really hard to be self-disciplined, especially when you've not got your teachers, your peers and those interactions that we have with each other. So end of term is fast approaching guys. And you're probably thinking, how on earth am I going to have this motivation to carry on now till the end of term? Don't worry though, because that's why we're here to help. And how satisfying would it actually feel if you could get through your show my homework list and think, I've done it. You know, what a sense of achievement and I can really relax and enjoy the summer and not have to worry about school and work. So we want to try and help you with some suggestions, some ideas just to keep you going. I'm going to kick off with a little bit of advice and I'm gonna leave all your lovely teachers to do some of that for you as well. Uh, one of the things that I found and I think that works really, really well is to create a routine. And the routine probably for you that would be the best one and the most normal for you is to do what you always do would do in school and that is to use your timetable. So I would say have it out in front of you every day and once you've worked through that timetable of your lessons that day, you've done your, you've done your tasks, then it's your free time. It's three o'clock, you can do what you want. Um, you might work through it quicker than other people, but that's even better. And that means then it's your time to chill. Best thing about the timetable is that you've not got that element of choice and it really does help not to procrastinate. You know, it really does help you have that structure and that focus manner to be able to get on with your work, but also have structured breaks throughout. Right, I think I've done enough talking now. I've obviously missed being in the classroom. I want to sign off and say, you know, it's not too late to start. Like, even if you don't think you've got involved yet, we show my homework, please just do what you can. Um, keep going. You've done the hard bit now. And I really do hope that we're going to be together again soon. Take care. Bye.
lockdown and it's about 35 minutes past eight i woke up about eight o'clock and i just got changed and brushed my teeth and i'm going to go ha go downstairs and start some schoolwork and then when i get hungry i'll have some breakfast i have physics to do two sheets of it i have to do english i have to do loads of art i've got i've also got more maths to do So I've just finished one physics sheet, I've got another one to go and the rest of the lesson but I've started to get a bit hungry now so I'm going to get, go and get some wheat bakes for my breakfast. It's a bit later on and I it's about quarter past four and I've pretty much done all the homework I need to do. I did my art, this is my art, you have to draw domes, the more you do the less you have to do for the next day. And that's all about your attitude to learning and how you approach your work. You've got to be like productive to then be able to relax. So that's my day done. I can go and chill and watch TV, I suppose. Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Um, my three tips for motivation during lockdown are number one, um, to write a to-do list. So highlight, tick off the things you've done once you've done them. It just gives you a record of what you need to do and when you've done it. Number two will be to not do work for too long. So do work for half an hour, then have a break, do some exercise, go for a walk, play a game, um, anything. Just if you do work for too long, um, one, two, three hours, your motivation decreases. And my third thing would be to FaceTime, phone a friend while you're doing it. So someone in the same class, you can help each other out and you can also have a bit of a chat at the same time. We really miss you all and we hope you're staying safe. See you soon. Hi guys, um, just doing a little bit of a message to sort of say hello and I hope that you're all doing really well in lockdown. Let's talk a little bit about attitude to learning. I've been looking after year eight uh, history and I've been really impressed with some of the creativity I've seen uh, and the hard work that goes into it. Some tasks on Nazi Germany the other week were really impressive. Um, from a religious studies point of view, my year nine group have been uh, uh, battling away through quite a difficult uh, topic, so I've been really proud of them working hard as well. As we go through week in, week out, it's harder to stay focused, but um, I think good ways to stay on task are to allow some time for yourself, do things that you really enjoy, whether that's doing a bit of reading, or getting on the Xbox, or TV, Netflix, whatever it is, make sure you take some time to, uh, to do that for yourself. Doing that, I've been doing lots of reading, I've been cooking more than ever, I've even tried to do some baking, which worked surprisingly well, so I'm quite proud of myself there. As you can see, I'm growing my hair out, putting on weight day in, day out, but um, you know, missing you all anyway. Looking forward to getting back to school. Uh, in terms of your history, if you feel like you've been doing a lot and it's hard to keep hold of, uh, we really like sort of mind maps, you can do create of ones of them with uh, where you draw little pictures use lots of color and from me and little timmy we'll see you soon okay bye i found it quite hard to get motivated right at the beginning of lockdown so one thing that i did that really helped me was i set alarms on my phone because we live our life by bells when we're at school so i thought i may as well set an alarm to get me up calling me lazy which always irritates me every morning and then it reminds me that I've got to do Joe Wicks at 9 o'clock or go on a bike ride. And then I start work properly at 10 o'clock. So I find this really helps. Lots of guitar breaks, a to-do list. Pandemic Poetry by Josh Lucas. Life in lockdown, on a scale of 1 to 10, can't say it's been easy, knowing no peace or zen, doing my schoolwork every morning without my friends, now it definitely gets boring. Learning from a screen every single day, and no way to get out, run about or play. Never bored, but glad. It's a secret, you see. Now what, you ask? Got my family. To be honest with you, I miss HLC, mostly performing arts, especially my friends. Know what I mean? 
So I think that lockdown has um, caused a lot of challenges for everybody. Um, one of the main challenges for me is um, trying to entertain my one-year-old whilst also doing the work that I've been asked to do at home. I found that really, really difficult. Um, so I might be working and then she's trying to bring a toy for me to play with or um, she's crying if I'm not giving her the attention because I'm trying to do work or sometimes she just grabs a laptop and deletes the piece of work that I've been doing. So trying to juggle that has been really, really difficult. So this is what I've done. I'm gonna show you, but you've gotta be quiet, okay? We're going. I'm gonna show you what I have to do. I'm going in. I need to turn it round. I have to wait until my baby is asleep. Now this is sometimes in the day, or you have to wait till I put her to bed at night. And once she's asleep, then I can get on with the work with no distractions. So I'd say my top tip to you is just avoid all distractions, find a time that there's nothing gonna be distracting you, and then do your work then, because I think that's when I am most productive, when I don't have something else to worry about, I can just focus on the work that I've gotta do. Um, I also make a list, I have a notebook, um, and I write down some of the things that I need to do that day, and if I just get a few things done, ticked off the list, it makes me feel so much better. Um, I've absolutely loved seeing your videos come in um, from my dance um, work, um, particularly year seven and eight, because that's what I've been working with the most. And it's been amazing to see the year sevens, um, who I haven't actually met yet. So I feel like I get to know you a little bit and see what you've been up to whilst I've been off having my baby. Um, big shout out to a few people. I'm really impressed with Brandon Wilton, um, Ella Hignett, um, who else am I? Tish Coles, um, Freya Childs, it's a name of few, and you guys, I don't know, you haven't met, you haven't taught you yet, so it's absolutely amazing to see your videos. In year eight, I've been really impressed with Amber Norton, um, some amazing videos coming in there, um, Maddie Jones and um, Johan Bamford. So well done to you guys, and don't forget, um, just keep going and keep smiling and keep dancing, and we'll see you real soon. Twenty minutes since my last snack. Oh, what now? Snack check my snack email. Snack perfect. A to-do list on the fridge. What a great idea! Hi. Since coming back from maternity, I've been well impressed with the work that's been handed in by you guys. All the videos and photos, the work's been outstanding and I've chatted to some of you as well and it's been so nice, I missed you all. All I can say is just keep going, you've done the hardest part, you've done not long to go now, um, just try and embrace it and stay positive, just smile, okay? Um, all I can suggest is exercise, try not to go to bed too late at night so you get up at a good time and get out in the fresh air in the morning, go for a little walk, little stroll on the garden, just do something and then get your work over and done with in the morning. So you've got the rest of the afternoon to, to chill out and do whatever you want. And if all else faves, fails, bribe your parents. So if I do, you say, if I do three or four hours of work a day, what could you do for me? Can I have extra time on the Xbox? Can I have some sweets, chocolates? Just bribe them. Good luck. But the main thing is, we're really proud of you all. I am. Good morning. I hope you're well. I'm going to read you a poem called Learning in Lockdown, and it's written by Johan Bamford in Year 8. Learning in Lockdown has been a unique experience, an experience never to forget. Reading through my tasks, organising them by day, and crossing them off my list when I complete them, missing my teachers and friends. Fun tasks brightening up my day, giving me motivation in the routine of every week. Waiting for homework to upload on show my homework takes a little too long. Taking a break halfway through the day. Lessons have been posted regularly. Only three to complete a day. Collecting lots of time to relax. Checking my drive once and having to log in again is tedious. To upload work 
I often log out and in again. Out to keep fitness up adds routine and discipline to the week. We will all be stronger now that it won't be for much longer. I just wanted to say a huge well done for all of the excellent home learning you've been doing. It's been so wonderful to see from people's dances such as Mia Cooper's to cooking, technology and amazing dramas. It's been really, really wonderful to get to share the work that you're doing. My top tip for continuing with your home learning is to find somewhere quiet in your house if you can and to start early. I tend to go for a run with my dogs in the morning and then sit in a quiet little corner and get on with my work. I am supported each day by my lovely Labrador who tends to snore away as I try and do my work. Really looking forward to seeing you soon and hope you're all well. Take care, bye. Learning in Lockdown by Holly and Sophie Parkinson. Learning in Lockdown, every day a challenge, another day the same. Reading and writing, not a teacher in sight in your own home. Not allowed to go out, getting on with work. Isolation is a bore, no more visiting friends and family. Looking forward to the end, obeying the rules, caring for each other. Keeping busy, doing work, don't stop now, it'll be over in no time. Wash your hands, no more germs.